Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is half past eight on Sunday morning. Last day of the trip, I'll be heading home at around two o'clock. Um, yeah, it's been a wonderful trip. Excuse me, it's been a wonderful trip. Um, Damon seems to have enjoyed his birthday camp, which is really, really good, because he's had a bit of a rubbish time this year so far. So it's nice to see him smiling and laughing and having fun. Um, yeah, it's it's been lovely, and it's nice for me to relax and not, you know, be doing a billion things and feeling like I should be doing a billion things. So that's good. I have, of course, missed Autumn giving birth, but I kind of suspected that would be the case. Hopefully Maggie will hold on until tomorrow, or at least tonight, a bit later on maybe. Um, but yes, all is doing well on the sheep front. Hope has taken well to her baby. Um, all feeding well now. Um, Emma's been topping up the twins, aut uh, Autumn's twins, with some clostrum. But they've been doing very well as well. She's letting them feed. Um, Kenzie went up last night with Lee and sent me a little video phone call. We did a little video Cool, but the signal up here is not great so it didn't work particularly well but it was a lovely gesture and then sent me some photos of them and stuff doing more of my research as well and let me show you something I found turn this light on oh it's bright I found a photo here and this lad here is my brother that in focus that lad there is my brother that was funny i was reading the book and went oh that's my brother <laughs> anyway i'm gonna drink my tea now I'll probably do a bit more reading Ooh. good morning alex hello it's another day and you're offering me something massive aren't you i certainly am you and your morning offerings I certainly do. <laughs> what are you offering this morning there you are good lord yeah what is that there's a lot of meat and weight behind that. I hope not much meat in that, to be fair. Well, I didn't mean, you know, like that. It's I'd be disappointed. Meaty. Meat you know. meaty. I'd Hold be disappointed if that was meat. Holding that in the hand, it's, well, it's more than a handful. More yeah, I'll handfuls, say. More you know. than two handfuls. Any, anything more than a handful is a waste, as they say. Absolutely, yeah. Although, when it comes to chocolate, <laughs> that rule does not apply. So, yeah. I think well that's... done, that man. That's huge. Yeah. Where did you get it from? Tesco. Oh. Might have to take a detour. Yeah. We can share those in a moment. Lovely. Oh, the joy that brings. Eight pounds, that is, is it? As in money. That is like a trip to Legoland, isn't it? That's like... And here is my meagre offering. <laughs> it, was yeah. it was actually ten. It was reduced. Oh. I've never seen Good like Lord. You've got to choose the red pill or the blue pill. Yep. One will be the font of all knowledge mm -hmm. and you'll know everything. Mm -hmm. The other one's going to kill us all instantly. Okay. And you're not going to tell me which is which? I don't know which is which. Oh, great. When you say all. All of us. <laughs> all of us. The whole planet. <laughs> so it'll, all, it'll be my fault. Pip is in charge yeah. of your life at the moment. Well, if I eat both of Oh, no, that won't work. Because if I eat both of them, I'll have the font of all knowledge, which will tell me which one not to eat. Well, I've already eaten the other one, so that won't have yeah. helped. Mm. Red is danger. Not necessarily. But you did also say front of all knowledge one, and I'm thinking from your point of view that's the first one, so maybe. Am I thinking too much about this? I'm going to go with blue because it's the same colour as Spog. <laughs> been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world around want to see it now pack our bags and get in that car Real far Let's 
get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life away. It's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Hey, darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. Pack our bags and get in that car. Real far. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take. Get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. An impromptu driving lesson with Kenzie because his car was flat, so the neighbours fired it up for us, thankfully. And uh, he's now driving his car for the very first time. This is from Peacock Wrangling. All that bruising. That's all from that peacock wrangling on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>